Just coming in here to SF Stave Mill, where the staves are made. You have white oak, and you have the ability to grow corn together. And guess what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it becomes bourbon. I'm a third generation stave maker. We've been here almost 32 years. We had a picnic before the fourth, and I bought hamburger for 28 men. So that's 28 of us. Stave is, is a pretty good piece of wood. It has to be sound. It can't have knots that are obviously going to leak. We take the defect out of it. White oak is a very hard wood. It is a very coarse, heavy wood. The strength of the wood is phenomenal. That's amazing. That's not our truck. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, kind of, kind of what? That's what we were talking about. These logs will start rolling all by themselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a, a debarker. You have a rotating head. That's the first process. The logs come in and we cut them to length. Roughly, our uses is about 55%. I said a stave has to be a pretty good piece of wood. Yes, yeah. They can't have any sap. So that can't be used because it is liquid will just go through that. Right. See this ring in here? Depending on what it looks like, we may lose all that. From here to here, From it's OK. Yep. But you're not guaranteed that never Not long. even guaranteed that. This is a, a top loader bore. Of course, it has a nice. I was just going to say, deep barbecue there. <laughs> we could. By the time the chicken coming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all staves have to be quarter saw. So in other words, the first cut will be right down the middle. The second cut will be the quarter. Take a piece off this way, which keeps the grain straight. Yeah. And then your next piece, and your next piece, and your next piece. If the grain turns over a 45 degree angle, it will possibly split when, it, when it's bent. I know that French oak is not as uniform as a white oak. French oak, I've looked at, at it, and I'm going, ah. I, I see why they, they have to split it. It's because it's, it's so yeah. crazy grain. What this machine does, it has two sets of probes. Every hour, it will shoot a shot of water. It subtracts the wet bulb temperature from the dry, and it'll, it'll get hotter, and vice versa. Jesus! Oh. In all of reality, that's 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what it is in Celsius, but it's shit hot. <laughs> this is the oldest staves that we have so, out here. Uh, two months air drying? Yeah, 18.5. Just under 19. 19 or 20. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>